Let's look at ellipses with center at the origin. We have two orientations. The first equation, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1, corresponds to an ellipse whose major axis is along the x-axis. The relationship between a and b is that a is always greater than b, and b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared. Or another way of saying the same expression would be to say a squared equals b squared plus c squared where a are the two major vertices and b is the co-vertice value and then c represents the focus of the ellipse. Similarly, we can define the equation of the ellipse whose major axis is along the y-axis as x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. Again, a is still bigger than b. Because of the orientation of this ellipse, a is the larger number and it is under the variable y. So anytime the a value is under the variable x, you have a long ellipse, and when it's under the variable y, you have a tall ellipse. Let's look at an example. Let's find the equation of the ellipse with center 0, 0, focus at 3, 0, and vertex at negative 4, 0. First, I recommend graphing this information. So starting off with negative 4, 0, we know a vertex exists here. Since the center is at the origin, by symmetry, our other vertex is at positive 4. We're given information about the focus uh, being at 3, which is our c value. So by plugging in this given a value and this given c value, we're able to solve for b. b squared equals 7, which could be written as b equals the square root of 7, which is approximately 2.65. This will give us the co-vertices on our ellipse. If we plug in a squared, so 4 squared into the equation, and b squared, square root of 7 squared into the equation, our final equation is x squared over 16 plus y squared over 7 equals 1. Once we find the b value, we know how to finish drawing our ellipse by going 2.65 units above and below the center. Here's another example worded slightly different. In this example, we're given the equation of the ellipse instead of information about it. So the equation is x squared over 4 plus y squared over 20 equals 1. What we notice is that the larger value is under y, so the orientation of this ellipse is going to have its major axis along the y-axis. So 20 represents a squared, and 4 represents b squared. Therefore, we can find b to be 2, and a would be the square root of 20, which simplifies to 2 root 5, or is approximately about just over 4. Now we can use our relationship between a, b, and c to calculate c. So since a squared is 20 and b squared is 4, we can solve for c to see that c is 4. Plotting all of this information gives us this ellipse.